Welcome back as we're continuing our episode of Nile Cruise coming to you from the Bahariya Oasis and in this segment we will be looking at a deeper perspective of the life here. It's not just all about tourism and health and meditation but also we have a deep-rooted cultural heritage and in the area here tradition is a major factor where we have many families they are all interrelated we have a strong tribal system and also of course we do have the laws but here we have more what we call al-araf or traditions and the norms and this in it uh, we know that the head of the family or the head of the tribe he is important whenever there is a dispute they go to him and his work or word is never uh, broken and uh, whenever there is a problem the elders of uh, the area they meet together to resolve uh, the issues rather than going to the police station or to the court of law and we will be learning more about traditions marriage life and how strong uh, the family bond is uh, here in addition of course to learning also about the various uh, cultural aspects including of course uh, tourism uh, as well and i'm happy to have with me mr mustafa abid musa and he's one of the head of the tribes and one of uh, the elders of one of the main and major families here and mr walid hassan and he is a tour guide and of course also he works in tourism welcome with us welcome. thank you very much for being with us today on uh, nile cruise uh, mr mustafa if we can start uh, by speaking about security and stability here in al wahat al bahariya or uh, the bahariya oasis how do you see the developments in the past few years okay this is a very important question for us in Bahari oasis uh, I seize the opportunity to speak about the real Bahari Oasis. Yes, Bahari Oasis, Bahari Oasis is uh, a safe place, is a helpful place, is peaceful place. The people of Bahari Oasis, like all the people, not in Egypt, all over the world. And you can ask the tourists that came to the Bahari Oasis. We treat them very peacefully and very good treatment. Yes. Yes. Now, Mr. Walid, you're working in tourism. How long have you been working in tourism and do you have a, spe a specific field? Is it also the safari? Yes, first we say welcome to Bahariya Oasis and we are happy to see the TB coming in Bahariya Oasis. And most of tourists also when you come to Bahariya, first they are very happy because we have a lot of traditions in Bahariya and they like the weather of Bahariya. First, when they come from Cairo, from Cairo to Bahariya, first we're going to visit Bahariya, first we're going to Sand Dunes in Bahariya to visit. They like it very well, Sand Dunes, to climb by uh, cars, by camels, to do it. A lot of program in Bahariya. So first, when they're coming, we're going first to English Mountain to visit English Mountains. It's very high mountains. It's a make it like a control from up to see all Bahariya Oasis, to see the view of Bahariya Oasis. And also we have some places we call it the uh, Bermuda Mountains. When they come the tourists there and see the Bermuda Mountains, they are very happy because it looks like Bermuda from Giza. And they are enjoying times also there. They spend many times there and besides the Bermuda Mountain. And also we have a lot of lake in Bahariya here, Salt Lake. Also the tourists, they are happy when they see the lake because it's a very nice view also. And sometimes also we do another program for walking trip. We do it by camel trip. Most of people when they see that, they are very happy because they see Bahariya Oasis is very safety. From here, from Bahariya, we say for all the people, you must come to see Bahariya Oasis. From first nice to the weather, nice for the people. The people, they like tourists too much. The people really, really, they like the tourists too much from Bahariya. Yeah. Yes. Well, I was speaking about agriculture, which we spoke a lot about tourism, but what about the agriculture and the other professions here in Al Wahat Al Bahariya or the Bahariya Oasis? Uh, how do you see such professions? Are they uh, gaining interest from the uh, inhabitants of the Wahat Al Bahariya or not? Yes. The professions here, the first one of them, the farmers. The farmers, welder, turners, the uh, olive squeezer, squeezers. Mm -hmm. Uh, carpenters, bakers, mm -hmm. all these uh, crafts are found in the railways. Yes. yes, and most of the people who work in the farm, they like palm tree. Mm -hmm. They like work by palm tree because you know the Bahariya is best for palm tree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And 
it's worth also mentioning that you have iron. The iron mines are within the premises as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we have it, yes, in Bahariya here, yes. It's we, in the places we call it Al-Managim places. Yes. It's very famous also, this area, yes. Yes, so, so what about the dates? Because uh, Walid said that a lot of people here are interested in uh, farming and specifically the palm trees. So this results in a very good uh, produce of the dates here in Al-Wahat al, al Bahariya. Yes. Yes. How does things go regarding the production of dates nowadays in Al-Wahat al, al Bahariya and the quality of it? Yes. The, for the quality, the dates of Bahariya waste is, is very good dates yes. all mm. over the world. It's, there is no any equal date for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the best, the best kind, mm -hmm. all over the world. Yes. Now, okay. uh, Mr. Mustafa, I'm very interested in the traditions of Wahad because I understand that actually the family is very strong, the tribe is very strong, and uh, the elders are very important. Yeah. Uh, so, would you talk to us about that social uh, aspect of it? We we can, for example, for solving the problems. We can solve the problems without going to the police station. Mm -hmm. the, the elders from, the, from two families mm -hmm. that are fighting for about anything, mm -hmm. only sitting down and try to solve any problem peacefully. Yes, mm -hmm. because here in Bahariya, it's like one family, not people they live in the area. Mm -hmm. Here, all the people, it's like one family. When anyone they got the problems, he don't go to the police first. He going to the other families he speak and he fixes the problem. And w would you break a, a word that your elder told you or you have to do what to your elder told we you? We have to do what we say the old people. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do you have the same tradition when you start a family, when you have children and your own small family, you have the same traditions and the same norms? Yes, I, I got these traditions from yes. all the, my family. So my children, it will get also. Yes. Yeah. Now, what about marriage? Like, is it arranged or can the uh, people, because I know that women work, they have their own outfits, uh, which is the traditional one, but I've seen many of them working and having high posts here. So, do they marry, can they marry through love or is love forbidden or is it traditional through the family? Uh, how does it work? Yes, so we have big story of wedding in Bahariya here yes. and we have big also traditions of Bahariya oasis yes. here in Bahariya it's very different to the Cairo or somewhere in Egypt for yes. wedding yes. here the wedding first we meeting the girl mm -hmm. so if you will saw here and we like here we don't speak with her about in the street or something uh -huh. where because it's not allowed it goes you know? to the yeah. family yes first <laughs> yeah. we're going to the mother yes. and then we speak about the mother we saw the girl she from uh, which family and then uh, she say okay she going to the other other mother of the girl mm -hmm. and she speak if you the girl she like me and she are uh, happy of that she say okay so the mother the mother of the girl the answer for the ma of my mother and then my mother she going to say to my father for uh, we found um, we found uh, Walid say, I say about yes, me for you know? example yes, yes for example yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> very soon yes so <laughs> We found Walid, he found a uh, yes. new girl and they like her. So the, my father, he going the father for the girl, he speak about that. So we take one hour, they stay with my girl, you know, to speak. If she say okay and me, I say okay, okay. We make engage around half one year yes. and then we make the wedding. For the wedding also, we have a lot of traditions also mm -hmm. for the wedding. Yes. It's also different to the Cairo also because yes. our, our tradition of wedding, we make the wedding five days. Five days. Five yes. Days. Five nights. Yes. Five. Five days. Not five months. Yeah. Five nights. <laughs> yeah. Five nights. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. So first day we invite for all the people in Bahariya for mm -hmm. the months mm -hmm. to have to have a lunch and dinner. And the second day we have the, the women. We invite the other women also. And the third day we make like henna. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Henna and and yeah. also we're going to the house of my wife, and we give her a lot of gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and after that we back to my home. The day five, we're going to take my wife to yes. my house. Yes. Yes. Now, taking the wife from the house, would it be a big uh, party or a big festivity? Yes. Yes. We have we have we have traditions of a big party here in Bahariya. Mm -hmm. We call it flute. Yes. Yes. The flute is very famous here in Bahariya, mm -hmm. and also a lot of tourists when they are coming to Bahariya and hear this flute, they are very happy. They like it so much. They yes. are dancing and and uh, very happy of that. Yeah. First of all, the, the wedding mm -hmm. parties, before wedding parties, start the mm -hmm. engagement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The engagement is very mm -hmm. important. 
Yes. Before, before this, we can. The bride, can he Bruma see her face, or oh, he just talks to her, but he can't see her face? If if she's engaged to him, at least he, once he can should he see, see her face? Once at yeah. least, yeah. Then one time. Yeah. And they found with the found of uh, her mother in and her the brother, presence of maybe her family. elder brother. Yes. Yeah, but the father of the bridegroom mm -hmm. invite all the the family, mm -hmm. his, his family and the neighbors and mm -hmm. friends and mm -hmm. also the friends of the bridegroom. Uh, and to try to slay uh, one calf or two calves mm -hmm. at least to mm -hmm. feed all these uh, people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so what about the education for children nowadays? Uh, do children get uh, better education than uh, the one that you uh, got in Al Wahat Al Bahariya maybe uh, 20 or 30 years back? Or uh, uh, does the children uh, need to be going out more uh, in the fields, uh, to be farming, maybe to be learning a new profession? Not interested in education the the government since uh, 20 years or more than are very interested with the education at Bahariya Oasis so it uh, built it uh, built many schools mm -hmm. all over the, even the the remote uh, villages mm -hmm. just like El Hayes mm -hmm. uh, each uh, village each village has a good a good school mm -hmm. yes a good school yeah I understand also that you have mixed schools boys and girls schools as well we have Yes. We have mixed schools, yes. Yes, Go, boys and the girls. Yes. Yeah. Now, would you tell us more about uh, the women here? Because I understand that the women are important in the household, in the family. Yes, the women in Bahia Oasis are very respectful pers person. Mm -hmm. Very, everybody, everybody in Bahia Oasis respect the woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's a very vital member in the family. Mm -hmm. And there is no family without uh, women. Okay. Yes, exactly. Uh, Mr. Mustafa Abid, uh, Musa, the Thrive Chief, and uh, Mr. Walid Hassan, uh, thank you very much for being with us today from Al Bahari Oasis on uh, Nile TV and specifically Nile Flues. Yes, we say for your coming. yes, we say thank you very much, and we say from here for all the people outside for Egypt, you must come to Bahari Oasis to see the Bahari Oasis. It's very safety, and we are loved towards so much. Thank no, you. I indeed, to, I yes. Yes, something. Mr. Mustafa. Yes, I want to say something uh, before, uh, the, the, before the end, yes. Yes. I want to tell the people in Egypt, all the Egyptians and all the people all, all over the world, mm -hmm. that Bahari Oasis uh, there is, is, not, uh, is not bad place. It's, it's safe it's and very beautiful. Safe. It's, yes, it's very safe, safe and beautiful. And beautiful. Uh, Place. And peaceful. Yes, and yes, peaceful. Indeed. And peaceful bliss. Egypt, Egypt itself. Egypt is, is safe. Yes, is, is in our heart, is in our yes. vessels, is in our arteries, is in yes. our veins. Nobody in the world likes his, his country just like us. We like Egypt very much because Egypt offers the two Bahari Oasis too much in yes. all the ages. In we, all the ages. We all love Egypt. And, and we, we support the yes. government and support Egypt. All, all Egypt. In, yes. any, in any situation. Yes, yeah. yes indeed. And I'd like to thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mustafa Abid Musa and Mr. Walid Hassan for this interview. And um, as they've said, the Bahariya Oasis is beautiful, it's safe, it's peaceful, and it's a must-see destination. But now we have to go to a quick break and we'll be back for more on Nile Cruise from the Bahariya Oasis.